All right, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me again. If this is your first time, welcome. And um, today, like Carly said, we I am going to show you how to make vegetable lasagna. Um, and that is from the Cooking Matters book, and you will get the recipe in your email. Okay. And I've, I, you will also get a, some um, tips on how to make packaged foods um, healthier, okay? For example, um, I have some macaroni and cheese here. Um, so this is a very, um, it's instant. You can, this is great for the kids because they can throw it in the microwave. Um, but it does have a little bit high of the sodium and that's because of the packet that's in here, the cheese packet that's in here. But how could we make the macaroni and cheese healthier? Any suggestions? You can either unmute yourself or you can just write it in the chat box. If you have any suggestions on how would you make mac and cheese healthier? The instant mac and cheese. I guess you could add some vegetables to it. Very good, yes, yes, yes. Um, adding vegetables to any of the pre-made uh, uh, packages and, um, will, add, will make it healthier because you're adding all, that, all those vitamins that normally just like this it wouldn't have. Okay? And yes, instead of using maybe the, uh, that packet that's in here, maybe you can go with a low-fat cheese, okay? Um, and that way you're not adding as much fat as what's in the package. Okay, so that's a great way. Good. Okay, so in the uh, package food makeover sheet, it gives you a lot of um, different um, packaged foods and how um, you can make it healthier. Okay, so for example, there's uh, uh, ramen noodles. Okay on here also and again you add the um, vegetables and you also eliminate the little package that's in there which yes the kids love it because it's got a lot of flavor to it but you can add your own spices to this um, and, um, and and just you'll be using less sodium because that's what the little package is it adds more sodium to that ramen noodles okay so we have um, frozen pizza, for example, if you get some frozen pizza, um, you can um, get the pizza that is like a cheese pizza. And if you have veggies at home, you can just add the vegetables to that pizza, okay? And there's other um, examples in the back of the sheet. Um, like for example, the pre-baked taco dinners, they have, you know, pretty much every the whole kit, whatever you need for tacos in there, okay? Um, so you want to uh, look for the, the uh, taco kit that has whole grain uh, tortillas in there, so that makes it a little bit more healthier, okay? Um, and when you're adding the meat, you um, want to add lean uh, turkey or any lean, lean meat, and that will make it healthier, less fat, okay? Uh, so there's other others here, other uh, suggestions for pre-made, um, pre-packaged foods, okay? And another um, one you would have is, this one that says lighten up. So if you have your favorite recipe, um, there is some suggestions on how you can make um, your favorite recipe healthy, okay? I have, uh, for example, I have um, usually around Christmas time, uh, we make tamales, okay? And tamales, I think you can make tamales healthier, but actually you can. <laughs> we, uh, we try them with, because um, normally when you make tamales, you make them with a, um, either shortening or lard. Okay, it just brings out the flavor of all the tamales, or we make them, we also make them with pork. Uh, but one year we decided, how are we going to make these tamales a little bit healthier? So instead of using the pork or the shortening, 
we used um, cooking oil. So we used the canola oil for the, uh, to substitute for the lard and for the, uh, for the shortening. Okay? And instead of the pork, uh, we used chicken. Okay, so that made it a little bit more healthier. And um, it didn't, I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, it didn't taste the same. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my, our family did like them, okay? So that's another sheet that you'll be getting in, the, in your email, okay? All right? So when, you, um, when you're looking at different um, foods to make them healthier, you do want to look at uh, the different oils, okay? So you want to use um, the oils that are healthier. But there's so much oils out there, there's cooking oils that it, it's just, it's amazing how much we have canola oils, vegetable oil, corn oil, avocado, avocado oil, soybean oil, olive oil, safflower oil, and coconut oil. So as you can see, and, and there's a lot more. I mean, the whole shelf is just full of oil, right? But we're like, well, which one is healthier for us? You know? Well, we going to look at the label. That's how we could tell which oil is the healthiest. So you want to compare the, the um, nutrition fact label. For example, this is canola oil. And you want to look in the back and compare the nutrition fact label. Okay, so this is canola oil and this is vegetable oil. Okay, so they're both, um, they have the same calories, both of them are the same. Um, the only difference is the, the fats on there. Okay, and it's uh, the saturated fats is what we really want to look at. We want to look and make sure that that is low um, in, in our oils. So just look at, you know, how much saturated fat that is, and then you can, you know, you can compare all the oils that are out there, and then when you can choose which one is healthier for you, okay? So just look for that low number on saturated fats, okay? Canola oil actually has, uh, it's 5% saturated fat on canola oil, and on the vegetable oil, it is 10%. Okay, so there's a little bit more saturated fats on the vegetable oil, okay? All right. Okay, so we do want to get those good oils. Like somebody mentioned the avocado oil. That is a um, monounsaturated fat. Um, the polyunsaturated fat, monounsaturated fat, those are the good oils that we want to look at, okay? So uh, the polyunsaturated fats, you're going to find those in your uh, fish, which is the omegas, and a lot of the nuts will have them also, okay? And the saturated fats are the ones we, we want to eat less of, and those are the ones uh, that you would see here, the butter, the whole, um, whole percent milk, the whole milk, and um, the um, meats, Okay, the meats, um, the fat, what's around the meats there, and the um, the cheese and the um, this is the sour cream. Okay. Okay. So the cheese that we're using today, that I'm going to be using today, is a reduced fat mozzarella cheese. Okay. So this one. Um, it's uh, per serving, so if you this whole this whole one here is uh, about seventy calories, okay. Um, so it's a little bit less, and it's a little bit it's less fat than if you would use like the cheddar cheese, okay, or the American cheese. Okay, that's the one I'm using today, and I'm also using uh, ricotta cheese today, also, okay, for this. You can use on the recipe. It does say uh, cottage cheese. But you can substitute that for a ricotta cheese if, if you prefer. It depends on how um, you like the taste of that. Okay? All right. Any questions about the fats? 
Not really. I use grapeseed oil though. Mm -hmm. That's another. I never really, I never really read, read the label, but I, I use grapeseed oil. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So let's get started on the um, on the vegetable lasagna. Okay. So what makes this vegetable lasagna healthy? Well, it's the vegetables. Adding the vegetables to it. Okay. And also using a whole grain. Okay. So the whole grain um, of course makes it healthier because you're using the whole grain. The whole um, um, the grain from the wheat. Um, so you're it's it has more fiber in it. Okay, so we'll, we'll be using the whole grain package, okay, and we're going to use, now the vegetables that I'm going to be using, well, um, the recipe does call for spinach, so I am using spinach, and it does call for um, mushrooms, so I'm using mushrooms, and it does call for zucchini, okay, so I am using the zucchini on this one. But what I am adding, I want to add more vegetables to my lasagna. So earlier today, I did steam some broccoli and cauliflower. So I'm just going to add that to my lasagna also. Okay. So pretty much any vegetables that you have, um, leftover vegetables that you might have um, from dinner last night, um, you can use that. Or if you have some frozen vegetables, you can um, use that also. Okay. And the spinach that I'm using, this is fresh spinach, but you can use frozen spinach. If you're using frozen spinach, just make sure the liquid is off. You take the liquid out. Um, and you can also use uh, canned spinach. Okay. So canned spinach is, again, you want to drain the liquid from this also. Okay. Okay. Then we have our spices. We want to make this um, spice it up and um, using garlic and oregano and basil okay again you can use fresh basil if you'd like and then the uh, tomato sauce now I made um, it says on the recipe uh, to use uh, cut to, uh, either a can of tomato sauce that's um, crushed or just use a sauce. I used one that's uh, diced, so I did throw this one in the blender. Okay, and made it um, just a sauce here. Okay, and um, what I did also now, if you have some choosy kids that pick out all the vegetables, everything that's green, they'll just pick it out. Um, like um, my grandson, he does that. What I do is I, in the blender with the sauce, I will add the vegetables. So I added the um, broccoli and cauliflower to my sauce. Okay, So he has nothing to pick out. Okay? Now, when you do add that, as you can tell, the color did change. So here's my regular sauce, and here's the one that I added the vegetables in. Okay, so the color did change, um, but if um, your child is helping you, you can probably add a little bit more. You know, just put the red sauce in there and just make it red. Okay, but the, the color does change. So sometimes you can trick them. Sometimes you can't, but at least they're not, they have nothing to pick up, right? <laughs> okay, so the first thing you have to do is you want to boil your water first, okay? So the secret to getting, so your, your pasta won't stick, is to have the water boiling before you add your pasta, okay? And you want to use a large enough pan to get all that, yeah, I use this one here. Okay, this is about eight quarts, but um, I just wanted enough uh, water in here, a big enough pan uh, to use this whole box of pasta. Okay. So I just put 
use the whole thing. But you want the water to boil first. You add a little salt. Uh, just before you add your pasta, you can add a little bit of oil in it if you'd like. Okay. So once your water is boiling, it's at a, it's at a boil, then you can add your uh, pasta and the directions are on here so you just follow the directions this one took about maybe nine minutes um it takes a little bit longer because it's a whole grain so it took it says here eight minutes but mine took a little bit longer about nine to ten minutes um so it can actually um be tender okay so once you do that you drain it okay now i um I did my pasta earlier today, okay? So, and you can do this, if you can actually make your pasta 24 hours ahead of time, okay? If you wanna do that, um, it, saves, it saves you a lot of time also. You have your pasta ready. So what I did, I put it on a cookie sheet, okay? You see here, all right? So I, I, I at, at the bottom, um, I put some, uh, parchment paper on here uh, but you can just spray it with some cooking oil okay and then you just uh, put your pasta down and then spray a little bit with cooking oil before you put the other layer on there and this way your pasta won't stick to each other once when you're ready to use it it's not sticking to each other okay and you can even store it like this just if you do store it um, in the refrigerator or if you want to use it later in, in your freezer, then you might want to add another layer, you know, uh, put this between the, the, the layers, okay? All right, so now that you have your pasta, okay, you want to um, get your sauce, and in your sauce, um, so while, actually while your pasta is uh, boiling, while it's cooking, um, you can cut up all your vegetables, okay? So you want to cut up your mushrooms thinly sliced like this, okay? And you want to chop your uh, spinach. And you want to dice your um, zucchini, okay? And if you're going to use um, other vegetables, you can, if they're not cut up, you can cut those up also. Okay. Right. This way you have everything ready when your pasta is ready. Okay. So once you have all that cut up, so in your sauce, this is where you're going to add your uh, spices to. Okay. So you want to add your um, your garlic. And then add your basil and your oregano and your salt and pepper okay now I'm not going to add salt in this one because the sauce that I'm using had um, some salt in it so I'm just gonna um, omit the salt on this one but um, the basil it on your recipe it calls for one teaspoon of basil you can measure out one teaspoon or just kind of pour it out like I do, just like that. I love basil. And you can do the same thing with your oregano. Okay. And again, I'm going to leave uh, the pepper out also on this one. Okay. And you just stir that. And your sauce is ready to go. So in your recipe, it does tell you to grate the mozzarella cheese. So if you buy it in a block, then uh, the cheese in a block in a square, then you can grate it. But I bought this one instead that's already grated. Okay. So I don't have to do that stuff. Okay. And then um, in a medium bowl, so you're going to add all your vegetables in your bowl. Okay. Now, 
If you want them all mixed together, you can. It's really up to you. If you're having some kids help you, your children are helping you, um, maybe you can, um, they can um, take turns. Somebody can add the mu mushrooms. Somebody can add the zucchini. Somebody can add the spinach. It's kind of like an assembly line. Okay. I'm going to add all my ingredients in this bowl together. Now you just mix that all together. Now, if you don't want to use all your vegetables, this will make a great salad. Okay. Does that look delicious? Okay, so now you have everything ready. To put your, see, I'm going to make my um, lasagna in this bowl. But you, if you have a longer one, um, you can do that because the noodles are they are pretty long. Okay, so they're not going to fit in this bowl. But I'll show you the one that I did earlier. I made it in a bigger bowl. Uh, but this one I'm going to make in this smaller uh, casserole here. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add your sauce to the bottom. Now you can add um, some meat to this if you like some sausages um, again you want to um, make it a little bit healthier and maybe maybe um, or, uh, make uh, add some uh, turkey sausage okay some something more leaner okay all right so you add that now I'm gonna add also my my sauce that has the vegetables mixed in there I'll add that in there, okay? So now you start to layer. Get your noodles. Just put them in there like that. Okay. Now I like to, um, and your recipe does say to make like um, three... Let's see, it says here, layer one, like three noodles on top, but I want to just do two, just like that. So this is something else the kids would like to do. They would um, like to put the noodles on here, okay? So once you have the, them layered like that, then you will add your... We almost forgot. We need to make our ricotta cheese. Okay. So in another bowl, you're going to crack the egg. You're going to mix the egg with the ricotta cheese. Okay. So you want to mix that with a fork first. It's all mixed up. So you're also adding you're adding protein by adding this egg. Then we're gonna add our ricotta cheese or your cottage cheese, whichever you prefer to use. That's one cup. 
And then you mix that together. This is another step the kids can, can do. They can mix this together for you. Once you have everything cut up, and everything, um, the noodles boiled, your kids can pretty much take over until it's time to put it in the oven. Okay. So mix that up. All right. You add your cheese to this layer here. And then your vegetables. This way. Okay. Now you add a little bit more sauce. Your cheese. And then you add the uh, another layer of your noodles. And then you repeat, do it again. Add the rest of your cheese, your ricotta cheese. Spread it out. Make sure it's And then our vegetables. Okay. And then our sauce. bit of the other sauce that has the vegetables blended in. Okay. Another layer of cheese. And another layer of the noodles. To top it up. Okay. And then just on top of this layer, I'm just going to add the sauce. The rest of the sauce here. And I'm going to top it up with some cheese. Okay. 
Okay. That's it. Doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> now, if you want to cover it with foil, you can, but you don't have to. I'm going to leave this one uncovered. So it's going to go in the oven for about 45 minutes. Now, this one is a little bit smaller, so maybe after about 35 minutes, I'm going to check it and make sure that everything is you know, melted. And that looks good. So you, you can see the layer of the vegetables on there. Okay, so that will go in my oven. For 30 minutes, and let me show you the finished lasagna that I made earlier. There it is. Does it look delicious? <laughs> And there you have it, vegetable lasagna.